Hey there, Storm fans. Brent Cook, and today we're playing Red Green Storm again in Popper, but we're adding Black. This is Jund Storm, very similar to the deck that I uploaded two weeks ago that you can go check out here at this very channel in the card above. So, this deck is a similar concept. We're not running Goblin and Archimancer today. Instead, we're running more powerful rituals in Dark Ritual and Cabal Ritual because. The power behind the goblin was it being in play and then all of your bad rituals becoming better. The problem with that is that you need your creature to live. So instead we're running the super powerful Cabal Ritual and Dark Ritual uh, respectively. And then you gain access to Night's Whisper as well as an additional draw spell. One of the weaknesses of the Gruel Storm deck is that you really only had Reckless Impulse and then First Day of Class to create card advantage. Well here Night's Whisper does a little bit of a more efficient job creating card advantage than first day of class. You still have Abundant Harvest, and then today we're playing Chromatic Sphere, or Chromatic Star, I'm sorry, for not only uh, additional spells for Galvanic Relay and, you know, multiple spells for the Pingers, but also to help fix your mana a little bit. And the real reason to play green was never Goblin or Kaomancer. It was always Land Grant and Abundant Harvest, allowing you to run a very low land count. Here we only have 10 lands. And but it's very consistent between these two, which is one of the things that I love about this shell. And I've played this uh, list in two week leagues at this point. And what I found was that it's very good against everything that isn't blue. So I haven't solved that yet. In theory, we could run red elemental blast instead of these duresses, which would help in your blue matchup. Um, let's do that. Actually, let's cut the duress. I haven't been liking those anyway. Sorry, this is twice today that I've just decided to make a change like midway through. All right, so we're going to run six blasts today instead. Maybe that will do it. And yeah, so other than that, I feel like the deck list is pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions, hit me up. Let me know what those questions are. I'm happy to answer them. And then in the sideboard, I wanted a second copy of Flaring Pain just because Prismatic Strands can be a pain in the butt if you don't find that first one. So just having two gives you that little bit of extra edge at beating Prismatic Strands. Moments piece, a flashback uh, fog effect. So in theory, it could be Darkness, but this Moments piece is effectively like running four copies of Darkness. You get Weather the Storm for the Burn matchup. We're going to crush today. I can feel it in my bones. Believe. I'll see you in match number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out the epicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Match number one, we're on the draw and I am going to keep this. 
Island. All right, right out of the gates, we're facing the menace. And I don't think there's any point to playing out the Chrome Star. I'm just going to pass and on turn two, try to play my Flame Breather. Okay, so I, these fairy decks are tough, but we're just going to try to do our thing. Draw. Breaker. Or Breather. I want it to be Flame Breaker and it's Breather. Okay, it's on the battlefield. That's a good sign. Cycling Ash Barons for a Plains. Okay, so they might actually be familiars. Yeah, they're fams. Okay. Draw. Let's play the Flame Breather again. Sure. I'm going to play this out. Pass the turn. Seagate Oracle. This would be a very good turn for me to draw into uh, Galvanic Relay, in my opinion. Draw. Let's start off by revealing our hand to Langren. Go get that forest. Oh, I can't do that quite yet. Uh, I have to play this land first. Let's thin another land out of the deck. And let's get the Highland Forest. Hmm. I think we start off on Manamorphose. We'll do red black. Draw. Archer. Hmm. I don't think the incremental damage is going to matter, so I don't really want to play that out. Let's Manamorphose again, looking for Galvanic Relay. Red black. Wall ritual. All right, I'm going to filter trying to hit again. Draw. Not the best. Let's impulse. Get another flame breaker, but no payoff spell. Okay, I think we're just going to pass the turn. That was a little bit of a bummer. And another snap. Sure. And they'll get in for one. We fall to 19. They have three cards in hand. Honestly, I feel like they probably should have just snapped their Seagate, but what do I know? Breaker. Or breather. Prohibit. They're down to two cards in hand. I'm just going to whisper here. I don't really care about getting the archer into play. Although I would like to draw a relay at some point. Cycling the step through to go get our Archaeomancer. Yep. So what are they getting back with the Archaeomancer? Is it step through or is it going to be one of the uh, counters? We got back prohibit. Sure. So we'll take one going down to 16. Draw. Another land. Okay, so we're going to play these and unfortunately pass the turn. We have a lot of lands for a 10 land deck. We have 7 of the 10. Familiar? Sure. Echoing Truth and the Archer. Okay, so they're probably going to try to um, counter this on the way back. So if you can draw a payoff here. It'd be nice. Like a Whisper or Reckless Impulse or Relay itself. Let's try this. Okay, come on, Doc. Give me something good. Auto Yield. Non Land. All right, we just have to pass. We'll block and take one again, going to 14. One has two cards. They're just passing. I think I'm going to pass as well. No need to play out the star. Ephemery, yep. 
so they can go get back some counters. It's going to be tough to win from here, but we can do it. It's just difficult. So now they go and get back the Ephemerate. Yep. So we know they have Prohibit plus Snap. Yep. Another one of those, sure. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. Ouch. Draw. Okay, so I think we start on the Flame Breather. I assume this is going to get countered by Prohibit. That's one, two, three, four. We have two more win conditions left in our deck. Uh, let's Whisper. Okay. Dark Ritual. Whisper again going down to nine. Dark Ritual. Full Star. The Cycle. So this is going to put us at the halfway mark through our deck. But I'm not feeling too confident here. Going down to 28. Harvest. Non-land. Impulse is something. Right of flame. I'm supposed to Cabal Ritual here, because if I hit a relay, I can't cast it if I don't. You're killing me, Doc. Right of flame. Manamorphose. Green red. Oh my god. Oh my. I can't believe you just missed on all of that. I did put relay in the deck, right? I'm not making that up. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right. I think we just lost. Damn. Okay, so we're going to seven. So we've revealed at least. Um, never mind. We didn't put any lands on the bottom. I don't. No, we did. We put some lands on the bottom. So it's not even twenty-four. There's at least. No, those were both revealed. The land grant. Never mind. So it is just the top 24. All right. So that was just really, really unlucky. Not the way to start a league off. But we have these six blasts that we're going to bring in now. Hopefully those will do some damage. Um, I think we take out the Chrome Stars and two Harvest. Because those are just like sort of filler cards. We can't really afford to board out much else. Let's try this out. And the reason we're on four pyro, two red elemental, by the way, is that red elemental must target a, excuse me, a blue spell or blue permanent, where pyroblast can target anything and then does something if they are, which means that you can use pyroblast to increase storm or just to target to deal damage with your pingers. We cannot keep that. Wow. This is not good. The deck is just not happy with me. Okay. Uh, I was trying to undo that. I wanted the mountain and not the swamp. I'm sorry. I'm just a little frustrated with this round. Uh, geez. Draw. Reveal land grant. We'll get our Highland Forest and play it. And they're just going to pass back. I'm not going to play the Reckless Impulse because we need this to resolve. A Ball Ritual. Okay. Two on top with their Preordain. Sure, let's play the Archer. Sure. Yeah, we've lost this. Draw. 
Just pass. There's no point in doing anything. Oracle. Draw. We'll start on Rider Flame here. This could just get blue blasted. Okay, Dark Ritual. Sure. At least we can resolve the Reckless Impulse now. That's not ideal. We can't actually cast Relay next turn. Plus, our opponent probably still has counter spells. Another Seagate. Okay. Go to 19. Draw. Virgil. Cast this Morphos. All right, I'm going to call it. Our mulligan to four just didn't pan out. It sucks. This round is kind of a disaster. Let's just hope that we can correct the course on the rest of the matches. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two, we're on the play. This seems fine. Keep. Okay, so we're going to lead off on Chrome Star this time. Just because on the turn that we cast Relay, we're going to end up needing all the mana we can get. All right. Draw. I think I'm just going to Whisper here. Okay. What are you playing? Ah, uh, they're just like Red Black Burn. Red Black Madness. Another one of those. Okay. Do it. Pull out the Highland Forest, I guess. Ball Ritual. Make a red and draw card. All right. Perfect. Whisper. Looks like I'm one mana short of being able to double relay this turn. Or one card short in the graveyard. I can't cast the land grant because of this Highland Forest. So if that's going to be the case, um, I can't do that. If I do it that way, I end up with the wrong colors. Relay. All right. So they played a second copy of the Bloodfell Caves, and now they're discarding Fiery Temper to kill my Flame Breather. Starting Kitchen Imp, sure thing. We're going to take four, going down to 12. Draw. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to play the Highland Forest this turn. So that way I can double land grant. So I go down to four mana. From Star. Yeah, that all works. So we'll play the Archer. Play Forest. Now we Chrome Star. We're just trying to relay again. And then I guess I cast this. So don't accidentally draw a land. And don't want it. Uh, we can cast this now. And now we'll put the land out. It's one extra damage that way and an extra free spell. Now we crack this for a red. Draw. Red of Flame is fine. Now we Morphos. We'll do red green red green boom okay metamorphose 
uh, green black, I guess. Cast this abundant. We'll say non land from stars. Not too bad. Add a black and draw a card. Beautiful. All right, and I'll galvanic relay for 13. This is what happens when you draw your relays. <laughs> uh all right feeling pretty good about this one it's also important not to put too much uh weight on a single match or even a single league if i'm being honest i feel like that's one thing that a lot of magic players do is they'll do poorly in one league and just decide that a deck is bad or something else and often small sample sizes and you know bad variance does happen so it's important to be open-minded they're getting back their fiery temper, sure. And I'm gonna take it going to eight. And they'll go up to 14. And then this should just be easy peasy. Alright, Lotus Petal. Uh, I guess I could have played uh my other idiots first. Lost out on damage. Auto yield. Uh, and they conceded. Okay. So we got game number one over Red Black Madness. I think I'm going to shave two Abundant Harvest for two weather. Just to make sure we don't die. Let's try this out. So some of you might be thinking Abundant Harvest is part of your mana base. You can't side that out. Yes and no. One, I can do anything. I'm the one playing the cards. But mostly, joking aside, is that we're running 10 lands with a 4 land grant, which is 14 lands. Most builds play 14 anyway. Abundant Harvest is sort of just icing on the cake. You don't actually need it, but it's nice to have. Um, I'm going to keep this. Uh, it's a little bit wild, but the Morphos converts into red-black... I think that this is secretly just fine. Draw. If I'm allowed to draw my card. From star. So we're going to play that out because next turn I can uh, filter it for red to cast the Morphos as well. And the initiate is back. Ding! Red flame. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to draw a card with this first. Also a ding. Okay, let's add black, black. Morphos. Red. Red. Hmm. That stinks. I was really hoping for one more card to get Threshold on this Cabal Ritual. Okay, cast this. I'm going to reveal my hand. Go get a land. Whisper. Okay. Impulse. Not going to cast Weather right now. Sorry. Uh, but I will relay for 11. That was a pretty good turn. We have one Rite of Flame, one Dark Ritual, one Manamorphose. A lot of lands in there. A lot of lands. Looting. Okay, so we're going to go to 16 and they'll go up to 22. Oh, they did not discard. Okay, never mind. So this right of flame makes four and then we can play two of these Kessigs. Play the swamp. Dark ritual. Auto yield. Okay, let's move this up. Let's metamorphose. Red red. Two more damage, love it. 
let's reckless impulse they're at 12 Forage was a good one all right let's whisper we go down to eight land grant that puts them down to six go grab that the power of free spells am i right uh now we can chrome star this puts them to four abundant harvest will put them to two and then depending on what abundant harvest draws into this might just be game that'll do it ding dong that's how this deck works correction from round number one into round number two let's keep that going for the remainder of this leak i would enjoy that stick around hopefully you enjoy the rest of it Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot everyone's favorite storm wind condition a galvanic relay exile indicator four treasure tokens for strike it rich and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends it also has slime time live eighth progenitor ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier no fumbling around with dice we've got you covered make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern and then squirrels versus goblins chatterstorm versus empty the warrens the battle of the ages you definitely need 20 squirrel tokens and 20 goblin tokens you're gonna love this mini token pack i promise and once again you can grab that at the epicstorm.com slash shop round three and we're on the play this seems reasonable keep all right i'm just gonna lead off on this abundant harvest non land take it okay boros draw and whisper up to seven okay no relay again but you know we have some time seeker of the way draw I'm going to pull land out. Try to increase my odds a little bit. We we'll get the Highland Forest because we need a red source anyway. And let's harvest. Non land. All right, a little bit awkward. We're going to pass here. I mean, the extra land grant obviously isn't ideal. That said, next like hypothetically let's say we draw in a relay that is an additional free spell main deck relic wow glad i'm not on cycle storm today you hater <laughs> if i was on cycle storm i would be a little bit upset right now all right so we're going to go to 15. raven inspector you got it draw um i'm gonna filter red red why not okay let's reckless impulse and pass the turn sure looting so if they discard prismatic strands here, it's kind of bad for us. Rally and electricery. Are you going to rally? No. Interesting. Um. Let's just go pull the the last forest out of the deck. And then Manamorphose, Red Green, 
Ding. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. And let's Metamorphose. We'll do green red. The ball ritual. The ball ritual. Dark ritual. Land grant. Okay. And relay four eleven. I'm a little bit concerned with how much mana I just burned, but I think I need to do it all just because I'm expecting that they're holding open prismatic strands and I'm going to need a lot of resources to beat that card. Okay, so they sacrifice the clue. So they're attacking for three. Are you going to rally? No rally. I go to eight. Yeah, it feels pretty obvious to me. Archer. Lotus Petal. Sure. Okay. So we need at least a blocker to live through the next turn cycle because of this rally. Let's impulse. Another Manamorphose. Yeah, we're definitely choked on mana right now, too, which was one of my concerns. That's why it's, like, not always correct to burn everything. Like, it's a judgment call most of the time, and you just have to make the right one. This is the first Rite of Flame, so it's not even that good here. I think I'm going to try to filter off Star. Okay. I guess this is better than losing life off Whisper. So if they rally next turn, it's five, eight. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. It just didn't come together that game. So we definitely want these flaring pains. Then I think you could board in two weather and just like board out these abundance. Okay, game number two. Unfortunately, not a keep. This is fine. We're going to bottom the archer. Mountain pass. The crag again. Most likely going to cast Reckless Impulse this turn. Yeah. All right, so double relay next turn coming up. We'll have a good double relay. Draw. Ritual. Ritual. In theory, I could have played the Highland Forest, depending on what this Morphos draws, so I probably should have held the land. I didn't need to play that out. Green, red. I'm not going to risk double relay, so... I'm just going to uh, cast both. Okay, and then the second one. So it's essentially a relay for nine. Except we had to burn two of them. All right, I like revealing the other relay. Chaining relays is very good. Pass the turn. Sure. Three mana. It looks like there's passing again. Dark Ritual. That's seven. Cabal Ritual. Um, I guess I can play the Flame Breather. I wasn't actually planning on casting any creatures this turn, but it's sort of free. Sure. I don't actually care about that. Cabal Ritual. Auto yield. Let's metamorphose for red red. Red raw. 
Chrome Star. Let's Whisper. Reckless Impulse. Um, let's go Ball Ritual. And then Whisper again. A lot of lands, jeez. Uh, let's play another one of this dummy. Red of Flame. Let's add another red, why not? Chrome Star. Chrome Star. Relay for 16. This should get the job done. There's a Flaring Pain in there, too. Journey to Nowhere. So we're going to lose a creature. Not the end of the world. They're choosing to not keep up the Prismatic Strands, which is fine. This should be a pretty easy one. Let's start on Rite of Flame. Play Kessig. Kessig. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, the Firebrand Archer. Rite of Flame. Easy peasy. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. We're never going to be able to cast these land grants with uh, all the lines we have, but that's fine. I don't think we actually need to. Let's Manamorphose. Red Green. Let's Reckless Impulse. Why not? Who doesn't love to get a little bit reckless? Dark Ritual. Not a lot of it reckless, but a little bit, you know? It doesn't hurt things. Wall Ritual. Night's Whisper. Why not? Let's play another Flame Breaker. And kill them with the pain. No damage prevention here. Woot woot. Okay, so that was game number two. We still have a third game in this match. I'm just going to hit submit again. I don't know why I added green, come to think of it. Like, really, the only thing we need green mana for is these two weathers, but it doesn't matter. I think I forgot that I cited out a button harvest, if I'm being completely honest. Very reasonable hand. Keep. Mountain and into looting. Two lands. Okay. The Craig tapped. I think I'm just going to play the Flame Breather. If it gets bolted, it kind of stinks because they didn't give up any tempo and they have the bolt. Um, but I was hoping that they would have to spend the, their turn on it, but that didn't happen. Inspector Gadget. All right, they played a Plains and it looks like they're passing. Three cards in the opponent's hand. I think I'm just going to pass as well. Sacrificing their clue and then going to their turn. After their draw step, they'll have five cards in hand. I am not going to block. I will gladly take one damage here. Sure. All right, 19. You got me. You knew I wouldn't block. It looks like they're passing. Draw a Lotus Petal. Storm one. Sure. I could have responded to that with Flaring Pain, but I didn't. I think I'm just going to Reckless Impulse, trying to find Relay. All right, let's Land Grant. We'll pull the Forest out. Play it. Admittedly, I tapped poorly because now I have to Manamorphose in order to cast this 
uh, Night's Fist Whisper without sacrificing a petal. Okay, let's whisper. Wooch. Very, very luck. Okay. Dark Ritual. From Star. Better Red. Auto Yield. Let's Reckless Impulse, why not? And Relay for 12. Oh, I meant to attack. That was a mistake. Might as well, if I lose the game by one damage, it's my own fault. Oh, wow, you're not gonna do it, going to attack me now? Howard. Draw. Play Mountain. Let's start on this Flaring Pain. We're just gonna let you know that you're dead. Sure. So you prevented one damage. Red of Flame. Red of Flame. Then we could play the second Kessig. Here we go. Should be easy peasy. I mean, that still doesn't work. Yeah. I use prismatic strands. Judgment common foiled by judgment common. It's almost like they were designed around each other. And our opponents conceded the game. Okay, so now we're 2 1. We're battling back. It's going to happen. Stick around. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match four, we're on the play, and we're facing Look Cookie, the cookie off. I actually lost to Le Cookie playing in the uh, Popper Challenge last week when I was on Cycling Storm. They were on Burn. So I would guess that they're on the same deck. And here we have a very quick relay, which I think means that this is a key. Okay. Chasm Pass. And it is Burn. Draw. That was a good one. Um, so if I whisper, that means turn three relay. They, they could theoretically kill me on their turn three, but unlikely. Well, let's do it. Cast the whisper. Theoretically, if this is good enough, I could go for it this turn, but it wasn't. All right, they have the alchemist. So that turn three is looking a little more possible. Let's play the archer. Maybe they'll uh, kill that instead of me. I would like that. Right of Flame. Metamorphose. Okay, we'll add Red Red. I think we just need more spells here. And then Relay will be for seven. The one sided Wheel of Fortune. Pass the turn. Hope that we get to untap. No creature in there. So if they do kill the Firebrand Archer, um, I'm not likely going to be able to kill them. And they killed it. Okay. And a second Alchemist. Draw. They have four cards. I'm... I'm going to have to pass the turn, unfortunately. Reckless Impulse. There's the Kessig. Yeah, I, I have to pass the turn here. I can't mathematically kill them. I just lost that on one point of damage, but it really doesn't matter. 
I think I'm just dead to the uh, the pair of pingers. We're gonna get out pung, out pinged, out ponged. Okay, and then relay for eight. All right. Pass the turn and hope that for some reason they can't kill me from 16. I think the only way I could win is if their hand was like double land, um, like creature. Because I think I might be even dead to triple burn spell. They went after. Okay. Sure. Two cards. All right. Kessig. Right of Flame. Looks like they're F-sexed. So you're saying there's a chance. Impulse. Lotus Petal. Let's Manamorphose here. Green, green. We have double harvest. Non land. And again, non land. Need four more spells. Ball ritual. Chromatic star. I mean, I, I have four spells. I don't know. I mean, I prefer not to cast Lingerance or Whispers, I guess, but I could if I needed to. Let's play the Kessig. Hard cast Langrant for the win. Woot woot. Who's the real burn deck now, Ma? All right. So whether the storm comes in. So you could board out Whisper or you could board out Harvest. It's a tough call. I think you just board out Harvest and then except that you're going to need to like weather the storm at some point. Let's try this out. This is a hand that really wants a relay. Keep. Epicure, you got it. Draw. Speaking of relay, there it is. Uh, we're gonna play out the star just because I'm gonna use it to filter on turn two and we're not going to be able to use that extra mana anyway. So we're going to fall to 19. Epicure is so good. I do think it's a great inclusion in these burn decks. Ooh, they missed their land. So we're going to start off by revealing our land grant. Go get forest. Bright of flame. Bright of flame. Um, I'm going to try whisper here. Right of Flame, that was a good one. I'm at six mana. From Star, let's add another black. I reckon Reckless. Petal. Unfortunately, I cannot play two mana spell without risking it, so I'm just going to relay for nine. A lot of spells in there. Um... That's for sure. So I think we're going to be able to try to win next turn. I can't make any promises. We do have the two pingers on our hand and a whisper for some extra card advantage, but it's not a guarantee. Right, and they have one on tap land, which means they could probably kill one pinger. Play the Kessig. Lotus Petal. And the Kessig's down. Yep. Dark Ritual and Firebrand Archer. Ball Ritual. Okay. Paddle. Reveal the Knight's Whisper. Not going to get one this time, and then we will off this one. It's just one free damage. One of the nice things about playing this card. 
All right, let's whisper going to 12. Would like a weather. We have four of them in here. Got a green and metamorphose. Go ahead, red green. From star, let's a dark ritual. Metamorphose. Red green. Down to just this chrome star. Let's add a black. Wow. All right, Doc. I see you. Could be dead. I'm not going to block. I'll go to 11. Did you draw your land? No. And there's the weather. Why couldn't I draw you last turn? Okay, so we're just going to attack them. They hit their land. There's a chance I could be dead here. Well, I can respond with the weather, but they don't know that. So I'm, I'm at nine. Sure. Suspends Rift Bolt. Take a draw. Okay. They think they have me. Oh, I messed up. I messed up because now if I uh, weather, they could fire blast me in response. That was stupid. Oh, it all resolved. Good deal. They deny a fire blast. Reckless impulse. Reckless impulse. Land grant. And weather. So they also have to chump block with their uh, Voldaren Epic here now. I didn't play this match that well, but I don't know. Deck was good to me. Another Voldaren Epic here. Draw. All the others were just stacked. Okay, we're now three and one with one round left to go. We're turning this ship around. Let's get that four one. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, match five. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. Island. What are you playing? Let's play a Kessig. Ooh, it just snapped resolved. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Three D gates. We're playing familiars again. We're facing familiars again. Uh let's play the Flamebreaker Land Grant. Go get our forest, deal them two free damage. And then we can Abundant Harvest to deal them two more. Non-land. Gladly Land Grant again, deal them another two. Go get the Chasm. Lotus Petal deals them two. So I realized that I lost out on a free storm there for a potential Galvanic Relay, but they're at 12. I don't know if we're going to need to relay this game. Spiridane. Look how good Langrand was that turn. <laughs> yep, this is definitely familiars. Nap, okay. Now they can untap their Azorius Chancery. Three mana into a second copy of Seagate. Okay, so they're at 12. We would need six spells to kill them here. That's a pretty good one, I heard. Um, yeah, I'm going to play this out. Bright of Flame. 
Full of Manamorphos. Hopefully draw a Dark Ritual. No. Alright. And then just Relay. So they're going to go to 6. And uh, hopefully we get to untap and do our thing. They have 7 cards in hand, which is quite a lot. Familiar. Reordain. One, un one open mana with a land drop. I believe that they still have an island in hand from last turn when they picked it up with the Chancery. Okay. Three mana. Flicker. They still have an island that they can play. Yep. Draw. Hmm. I think I'm going to lead on Cabal Ritual. Because I can beat them if they counter this. They let it go. All right. Let's Whisper. Dark Ritual. Land Grant. Play it. Land Grant. Now they're going to one. Okay, and then Whisper again. So this time we got Revenge on Familiars. Game two. We bring in our six copies of Blast. I wonder if you're supposed to board out Abundance or Stars. Probably Stars. Let's try this out. I'm all up for trying different things. Game two, we're on the draw. Here I've opened up both copies of Abundant Harvest with no green source. I do have this land grant, but I can't even play it until turn three. Right of Flame. All right, familiar, you got it. I think I just have to pass here. Reordain. Two cards on top. Reveal land grant, show them my hand of a bunch of very mediocre cards. Grab that forest. Let's cast Abundant Harvest. Non-land. Okay, I'm just going to pass. Another Sunscape. Chancery's good for them. All right, and they have one counter open. Harvest, non-land, Pyroblast. If they Pyroblast or Hydroblast this, I have to fight with the pedal. Let's Whisper. I think I'm just going to pass. You could argue that, like, maybe you want to play out Flame Breather. Then you're getting rid of your backup red source. And you're just giving them a creature to snap. And I don't think that's what you want to be doing. Well, Drifter Evoked for a single mana, pretty good. Now they can Ephemerate or Ghostly Flicker it. Yep. Very powerful play. Preordain. Okay. So, they're passing with a single blue up. Let's write a flame. Dark Ritual, the Ball Ritual, Impulse, okay, let's Impulse again, all right, I'm going to keep going deeper, I want to hit a Relay this turn, another Pyroblast, sort of a bummer, try to kill this Drifter. I think we sort of missed <clears throat> our opportunity this uh, turn by not hitting the relay. We had a lot of looks. When it still has seven cards. The Chaomancer getting back the Ephemerate. Yep. 
Preordain. Okay. Closely flicker. Or Kaomancer plus one other thing. The island. Getting back flicker. Sure. We're pretty close to being dead. Well, or of them having infinite life, I think. Or do they already have it here? I think this is infinite life, actually. Yeah, they just have it. I'll concede. Alright, so we have to win game number three now. Game three on the play of the final match. We have a relay. I'm going to try it. We do need uh, to fix her mana a little bit, though. I, I, I have to imagine this Whisper will resolve on turn uh, two. Well, with it being Evolving Wilds, it will. Interesting that they got a white source. Let's Whisper. Okay, and they're passing. So if I Whisper here, I have to discard. Do it anyway. If they try to counter, I can Red Blast it, and then it all works out anyway. Good deal. Okay, they'll pick up probably the planes here. Yep. Draw. I'm going to start on Rite of Flame. I'm a little afraid this is going to get blasted. Dark Ritual. Land Grant. Free spell. Go grab the forest. Play it. Abundant Harvest, Non-Land, Fall Ritual, I just, I know it's silly and I'm losing out on two points of damage by playing the pedal first here, but just in case for some reason they have a counter spell for a Lotus Pedal, I don't want to get punished. Like, the two damage is not as relevant. Sure. It is making sure that pedal resolves. It only ended up being one damage lost anyway, and now I get a gigantic relay for 10. Okay. Look at all those spells. See, Gate Oracle from our opponent. Them tapping out is a very good sign for us. Okay, and the God Pharaoh's Faithful. Draw. Okay, so I can start on the Kessig here. Dark Ritual. Now I can Manamorphose to filter into some red mana. We'll do red, red. Is that correct? I'm going to be making a bunch of red with this Red of Flame. We'll do red, red. It's fine. Red of Flame. Land Grant, why not? Free spell. I'm not even going to pull the land out in case I reveal another Land Grant. Let's Reckless Impulse. Thread 9. Ding Dong. It looks like we went 4 1. Metamorphose. Green, red. And land grant again. Pull out the land this time. And reckless impulse. Okay, we got the 4 1. Gunstorm is really powerful. So that first match, you know, not the prettiest of things. I had two sort of bad draws. We got revenge in match number five against this very same deck. Would I change anything? Honestly, no. I think this list is very, very well-tuned. Uh, and it's probably the more powerful of the two, if I had to be honest. Like, I know Gruel Storm is a little more uh, catchy. People love red, green, whatever. But this is probably the better list. Um, I really like the green splash. You can play this deck without the green cards, but I think Abundant Harvest and Land Grant are just so powerful. Um, 
yeah i know we didn't use the echoing return today but it's really good against matchups with tons of removal so that way you can get back four kessigs in the face of them i did like the change from dress to six blast so i'll probably keep on playing that and we didn't face bogle so like the moments piece never came up but this deck list is sweet i hope you enjoy it let me know what you think have a great day keep storming hey brand cook here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below if you want to support this content directly i would recommend going to the epicstorm.com shop and if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.